Hello everybody, it's Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys a little tutorial on how I pose my Sims for their photo shoots. This was a requested tutorial and once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy and I feel like I have some good extra advice and extra tips when it comes to making these photo shoots a lot easier. Just want to point out that I am recovering from a cold so if I sound a little nasally, I am sorry I got sick on my damn vacation, not fun. Was it worth it? Yes. But being sick sucks. I've been sick for almost two weeks now. I'm not having a great time. So please just ignore the nasally sound coming out of my voice and let's just pretend like it's not there. So in order to pose your Sims for their photo shoots or for animations, you are going to need two mods as well as a custom pose or poses of your choice. The two mods you are going to need to pose your Sims is going to be Sims Teleporter by Scumbumbo and the Sims Pose Player mod by Andrew Studio. I will have the links to both of these mods in the description of this video. Both of these mods are base game compatible, meaning that they don't require any packs. You are also going to need some Sims poses of your choice. I personally like to get my poses from Pinterest most of the time, but you can also find them on Tumblr, CurseForge, websites like that. There's poses that are meant for just one Sim, so there's individual poses, there's some for group poses, there's plenty of different poses that you can find online. Personally, I like to go to Pinterest. And these two mods are optional, but I feel like they are very helpful when it comes to taking photo shoots of your Sims. And one of those mods is going to be the Daybreak mod by Twisted Mexi. Again, this mod isn't required to take photos of your Sims, but I find it very helpful. What this mod basically does is it doesn't allow the moon to come up it makes your sims world constantly daylight the sun's always up no matter what time of day it is so this is really great if you want to take outdoor photos of your sims and perhaps it's nighttime and you don't want to wait till it's morning time or you know you're going to be doing this for a really long time and you just don't want to have to worry about the lighting changing it's a lifesaver when it comes to taking outdoor photos of your sims and the second mod i'm going to recommend you download is going to be the iso love mod by ravishing this mod basically is a camera and with this camera, you are able to take a picture of your sim without needing another sim to do it for them. So I could just click on this and press take photo and then it would go into camera mode basically when I press start. And it's ready to take a photo. This is great for any households you have that have maybe one sim or maybe two sims but you want to take a photo of both sims and you don't want to like invite another sim over or add a sim to your household or whatever. It just, it's just a pain to take photos without this mod in my opinion. You can also take up to 25 photos at a time, which is crazy because in the base game, you can only take up to five, but now you can take 25. So you have so many chances to get the right photo. You don't have to constantly go in the camera and then back out. It's just, it makes things a lot easier. Before you get started on posing your Sims for your photos, you gotta make sure that they're dolled up. You gotta make sure they look cute. You gotta make sure their outfits and their hair and their makeup look great. You want these photos to be special. You want them to look good. So let's go into cast real quick and let's get our Sim ready for her photo shoot. Today we're going to be using the air of generation 2 of my legacy challenge, Autumn Kiloha, as an example for this video. Hi Autumn, how are we doing? And we're also going to be using her wife, Shanna Kiloha, as well. And we're going to be taking some little cute couples photos of them together. I'm thinking today I want to give the Kialohas a little beach photo shoot, so I'm going to put her in this little two-piece made by Madeline, which accentuates her figure so well. I mean, damn! Autumn! Where did you get that from? I don't remember giving that to you. You better be thanking your mother Alexis for that, because I know damn well that wasn't a part of Chris's genetics. And let's give her dummy thick wife, Shanna Kialoha, this one, which also accentuates her figure so well. Ugh, I love my little lesbians. By the way, new episode comes out later this week, and you're not gonna wanna miss this one, I promise you. You're really not going to. Okay, the Kialohas are prepped, they look gorgeous, and they are ready for the photo shoot. So let's save, exit, and go head over to Sulani to go take their photos. Oh, no, 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 no. Narshkul Smeba, huh? No! No Narshkul Smeba. Will you be my girl, my girl, my girl, my girl? Now, Shanna, why are you giving me that look? Perhaps she's looking into heaven to find little baby River up there. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Sulani with our favorite lesbian couple, Autumn and Shanna Kealoha. And before we get them ready for their photo shoot, we're gonna change them into their outfits. I'm gonna do that using MC Command Center, of course, because I'm lazy and I don't want to wait for them to actually change them themselves. I'm gonna go into the cheats by pressing Control Shift C on my keyboard and I'm going to turn testing cheats on because I want to get rid of this mess right here, the headline effects. I don't want their headline effects showing in the photos, so I'm going to turn them off. And I do that by typing into the cheats menu, headline effects, one word, off. And now all that mess is gone. Okay, the next thing I do is we need to get those Sims teleporters out and we need to put them in the spot where we want to take the photos in. So first, I'm gonna take a photo of just Shanna by herself and then after that, I'm gonna take a photo of Shanna and Autumn together. First, I'm going to add just one teleporter in front of the camera. And actually, is this where I want to be? I want it to be closer to the water. So I'm actually gonna move that there and I'm gonna move the ISO Love camera along with the tripod right in front of it so we're getting that gorgeous beach view actually <laughs> i'm so indecisive i'm gonna move it a little further and i'm gonna rotate it using the the period and the comma key on my keyboard and then i'm gonna do the same thing with the tripod and then i'm gonna exit out of build mode so now you can use a teleporter to teleport your sim i'm gonna press on it i'm gonna press teleport and these seem to be the only three sims on the lot I want Shanna, so I'm gonna press Shanna, and then she's going to magically appear right in front of the camera. I then wanna get Shanna to pose, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on her, and I'm going to click around until we get to pose by pack. Scroll down, and you're gonna find all the poses that you installed earlier. I'm looking for a cute solo pose. We have these two solo pose packs. Let's do something cute. I'm gonna do that one, and maybe one more. All right, I found three poses that I think would be cute for Shanna, and in order to get her to pose, all you have to do is press play and wait for her to pose. And boom, just like that, she's posed. And this one, how do I feel about it? How do I feel about it? Oh, <gasps> ah! I love it. Oh my God, she's such a baddie. Autumn definitely pulled a baddie. She pulled a baddie. Oh, Autumn. She looks so good. She looks so cute. The girls are girling. She looks fantastic. So now since Shanna is all cute and posed, we have two different ways we could take this photo. One, we could simply take a screenshot by pressing C on our computer or F4 if you have G-Shade. And that'll be good enough, but here's the thing about taking a photo like that with just the keyboard. These photos won't appear in your actual game. So if you wanted to use these photos to decorate your Sims house with, you can't do that. You have to use a camera. And that's why the ISO Love mod is so great. I'm gonna click on the camera and click take photo and then I'm gonna press play. Or I don't actually need to press play, it just did it for me. And now we're in the camera and we can completely manipulate how we want to take a photo of Shanna. We can rotate the camera to get the absolute perfect angle we want. We could zoom in. We can change the aspect ratio and the size. We could turn the flash off. And the beautiful thing about this mod is like I said earlier, these photos will actually appear in your game. So you could totally decorate your Sims house these sexy thirst traps of your sims. I'm really loving this shot of her and I'm gonna turn my G-shade on since it's a little blur in the background so it looks all fancy. And look at that shot, look at it, look at it. She looks so good. So now, since she's perfectly posed and the camera's ready and the backdrop's perfect, it's finally time to take the photos, hun. All you gotta do is press the little camera icon and the photo has been taken. I'm gonna change it up a bit. I'm gonna switch the orientation. I'm gonna put it in landscape mode. Maybe just zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna take another one. Zoom out for a full body shot. Take another one. And again, you have 25 chances with this mod to get it right. I love this mod. It's fantastic for taking photos of your Sims. I highly, highly, highly recommend downloading this mod. I gave her another pose and I'm gonna do the same exact thing as I was doing earlier. Just take a bunch of photos of her. And while we're here, I should probably quickly go over the camera controls with you guys. There is no restrictions on how you take your Sims photos. It doesn't matter how high your Sims photography skill is. With the base game camera, photography is a skill that your Sim has to learn. When your Sims photography skill isn't that high, sometimes the quality of the photos they take is messed up. Sometimes it'll be a little finger smudge. Sometimes a little gnome will pop into the photo. I think that's so dumb. But it's just, you know, it, it's, it's typical Sims 4 stuff that happens. Your Sim has 
to rank up in the photography skill to take crystal clear photos. That's not a thing with this mod. Every single photo you take will be amazing quality. As for the camera controls, you have complete freedom when it comes to this mod. To move the camera, you just have to click and then you could just move it around with your mouse. You can zoom in using the scroll wheel on your mouse or you can use X or Z on your keyboard. WASD on your keyboard also works. So you got W for zoom, S for unzoom, A for left, and D for right. Q brings the camera down, E brings it up. But for me, I really only use E and Q to bring it up and down. I typically use the mouse and the scroll wheel for everything else. I'm gonna take a few more photos of her. And that, my friends, is how you take a photo of one of your sims. Now let's move on to two sims, a duo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into build mode and I'm going to now place two teleporters in the same exact spot that Shanna is currently standing in. And make sure when you're placing these teleporters down that you are stacking them on top of each other, okay? And what I mean is you don't wanna see two of them, okay? You want them to be on top of each other, like so. Having them next to each other isn't gonna work. Having one behind one another or in front of one another is not gonna work. You want them stacked like this. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with Shanna earlier. I'm going to click on one of the teleporters, press teleport a sim, and then teleport Shanna. And then I'm going to click the other one, I'm going to put teleport a sim, and I'm going to click autumn. Now if they look like this, if they look like an absolute atrocity, you've done it right. You want them to look like an atrocity because it means that this is going to work properly and your sims are going to look how they should look when it's time to pose them. And you're gonna do the same exact thing that you did for that one sim. You're gonna click on one of your sims, select pose by pack, and then we're gonna find a pack that involves two sims. I found this one called besties, which is funny because they once were a couple of besties. Oh, how things have changed. So we got a pretty good amount of poses here to choose from, but I'm really liking pose number three. And I know it says it's female and male, but it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't have any effect on the pose, with the exception of the creator of the pose might have made the male taller, so the sim might look taller than the other one, but to me that's not a big deal. That's all up to preference. I don't really care. I'm going to use this one. I want Shanna to have the male role, so I'm going to press pose 3M exit out and then I'm gonna press on autumn find the exact pose that we're using for Shanna which is besties by starry and then I'm going to use the female version of that same pose which is pose 3 press play and now they're both posing and it's actually so cute I love it I love it I love it I love it just a couple of besties who now eat each other's p Anyways, I didn't say anything. All right, and just like before, I'm gonna click on the camera and press take photo, and voila, they're posed, and they're ready for their shoot. And I'm just gonna take a thousand different shots of them like I did with Shanna. So cute! I love them so much. Oh, my little lesbians. Okay, so I took a thousand photos of them with two different poses, and I'm done. We posed our sims, we did the thing, the photo shoot is over. Congratulations. Um, here's the thing though. Me, I'm a control freak, and this isn't necessarily the real Autumn and Shanna. These are clones of them in a different save file. This is not the legacy save file. This is a completely different one. But here's the thing. I want these photos of Autumn and Shanna in my actual legacy save file. I want these photos in their house. And I can't just transfer these photos from one save file to another. So I'm gonna teach you a way to do that. And no, it doesn't require mods, it doesn't require anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into build mode and I'm going to build a little wall. I'm gonna go back into live mode and what I'm gonna do with this wall is I'm gonna take all the photos that Autumn and Shanna technically took that's in their inventory right now and I'm gonna put them all over this wall. Every single photo. Oh, I have these ones from their wedding. I totally forgot about that. Filled the wall with all the pictures I just took and some old ones. I had some wedding photos of theirs that I totally forgot about. Look at them. Ah, 
look at them. And then photos of Shanna with her mom, Lenwala. How cute. Okay, so once all the photos are on the wall, you're gonna go back into build mode. You are then going to select this wall and go to the top over here and then save to your library and save the room. And it's gonna look weird. I'm just gonna call this Shantum Beach Picks, okay? And save it to your gallery. Once you save these photos to the library, you can then use these photos and place this room down in any save file you have. So now I could take whatever photos I take of my Sims in another save file and put it in the one I actually want it to be in. You don't have to do this, obviously. This is like an extra step if you're a control freak like me. I just don't want to take photos of my Sims when they're actually in their own save file. I have clones of them in a different save file and I take photos there. You don't have to do it that way. That's just me. And now I'm back in the legacy save file and I'm in Autumn's and Shanna's house house which you guys are getting a little sneak peek of um because you guys aren't gonna see it for a while but their photos that i took of their clones in a different save file is now in their house because we saved it to the gallery and it looks so cute but that pretty much concludes my tutorial on how to pose your sims with the sims teleporter and sims pose player mods thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope i answered any of your questions if you do have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will do my very best to answer them as quick as possible all the mods that i use will be linked in the description below and if you'd like to see any more tutorials from me leave a request down below and i also have a playlist which is up above right now of a few other tutorials that i have involving rendering your sims in blender and machinima thank you so much for watching I am Solita Sims, and I will see you in the next video. I can do this when I'm not thinking about it, so let me try not to think about it. I'm gonna open the cheat menu by pressing con- <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Why can't I do this? Like, why can't I do this? Oh my god, I can't do this.